Hello, and welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm sat at my desk recording using my webcam, my streaming setup, because I'm at the beginning of a very, very busy week for me, which should see quite an interesting, uh, intricate little video being published on my Archaeology YouTube channel. I'll link to it in the Discord server, actually. So if you're interested, jo do join us on Discord. Uh, but also as well, this is following a couple of very difficult weeks here for both me and my lovely wife, uh, Mrs. Soup. Uh, we recently lost Indy. Uh, our, our amazing little dog um, had to come to the end of his life. He was so tired. He was so... Uh, on the verge of having a poor quality of life that we we had to make the difficult decision to let him go. Thankfully, I think we did it at, at exactly the right time. Uh, Mrs. Soup went away to Edinburgh a couple of weekends ago uh, for, for a family birthday party, and I stayed at home to, to look after Indy, and we think he had a, a stroke. We think he had a, a, a small stroke, but nonetheless it affected probably the right-hand side of his body. Uh, just a little bit, but it was enough to completely change his demeanor. He became much more timid. Uh, he, at times, would seemingly lose, you know, function or at least seem very stiff in his in his right hand side, in his limbs. And even though there were sparks of of that wonderful little dog still there, he was spending a lot more time in his head and also peeing randomly in the house, which was stressful for him and, of course, stressful for us. Um, you know, to have to, for example, many mornings in the past couple of weeks, I was taking his overnight bed down to a, a, a giant washing machine um, in a garage to wash it in the morning. So it wasn't easy, and we figured we'd give him you know, one last weekend, a wonderful blowout weekend where he had sausage pâtés from... Uh, from a, a takeaway place in Whitley Bay. He had part of a Five Guys takeaway the next day. He <laughs> went on various walks. He had lots of sniffs. He hung out with his favourite people. And then on the Monday morning, uh, we, we took him on his last walk and, and held him as we said goodbye to him. And it's not been easy since then. It, it's, it's been about, well, it's been about a week, actually. And um, uh, I keep on thinking, you know, that I need. That where, where is he? How is he doing? Do I need to let him out? Um, I keep on thinking I see him in the corner of the room, this kind of thing. And of course, I don't. It's just a you know, trick of the light. Um, and and you know, if you've seen the video that is cu currently uh, the um, uh, the channel trailer for this YouTube channel, you'll know just how much he means to me and meant to me. Uh, and yeah, it's, I think it's going to take a while to, to, to really get over it, but also for us to, to really recharge, especially in the past 18 months, our lives shrank down around him to accommodate him. We couldn't really go anywhere. Um, we couldn't, if we, if we did take him somewhere, he'd have to come in the car because he had such se separation anxiety. He knew that we were coming back to the car. And there was one winter's night, for example, when we had to just heat the car as much as possible because we were going to a, a family, you know, family friend for 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 a meal, um, and we didn't want him peeing in the house. And it, it was just a whole thing of trying to make him comfortable, but also in a way that was actually quite inconvenient. And and it meant we were saying no to lots of things, and we were constantly stressed. We weren't sleeping very well. We weren't um, relaxing, uh, you know, of an evening, for example. It was every time he got up and moved, it was, you know, what's happening? Is he okay? Um, is he going to pee somewhere? <laughs> you know, this kind of thing. And so as much as it hasn't been easy, I think it's going to be a relief as well, a relief for us. Uh, and already we've noticed little things. Like last night, we both walked into a shop together without having to, to worry about about one of us staying outside with 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 him, and I mean, some of this stuff is stuff that you do anyway when you have a dog, of course. Um, but uh, but a lot of it was becoming stuff that you do when you have a, a very poorly dog, and um, and because it creeps up on you, and because because we loved him 
and we love him with every you know every fiber of our soul souls um you just don't want to you don't want to take take proper stock of the situation that you found yourself in but a couple of weekends ago we had to because something had definitely changed in him and uh and now we are where we are one other positive though is that i should be able to get back to a more regular streaming schedule especially in the past 18 months my streaming has been so erratic largely because of him uh, often even of an evening or around bedtime he would become confused or he would desperately want uh, all of us in the same room or so on and so forth uh, you know it'll be, it, it varied in extreme uh, in, in, in its extremity but often it meant that that the thing that i could you know could put off streaming just didn't happen uh sometimes you know it was delayed by a couple of days sometimes i just wouldn't stream in you know for an entire week or even weeks on end so i hope to be able to go back to a streaming schedule uh my friend ruth and i are hoping not hoping we are going to be this week continuing resident evil 4 we started it last tuesday i think we're going to be doing it again this tuesday um probably starting around nine o'clock in the evening and um and also as well, I, I want to be just hopping on and, and doing live streams generally more casually, more regularly. So that, that's a positive that comes out of this. <sighs> but I just thought I'd give you an update. I'm fine, we're fine. Um, but but Indy uh, is, is now in the great beyond, uh, frolicking free, hopefully without cataracts and hopefully without his uh, cognitive decline, without the, the doggy dementia. I'm sure he's sniffing everyone's bottoms. Um, one more thing as well. A couple of days ago, we went to see John Wick 4. I took my yellow pencil with me. It says yellow pencil HB on it, though. Uh, and uh, that was fantastic. We'll actually probably be talking about that in the near future on the Else Realm Diner podcast. My friend Ruth and I, again, have a podcast where most recently we re we recorded an episode about... Uh, Wednesday Adams so I'll link to that below as well if you're interested check it out uh, I think we have pretty darn good conversations but uh, of course I'd say that wouldn't I anyway I need to crack on with my work uh, this will be a minimally edited video so hopefully I haven't gone uh, too nuts on all the pictures and stuff um, because I do have a lot to do this week but uh, I just figured it was worthwhile explaining you know I have been away uh, for longer than I normally would be on this YouTube channel in terms of making videos to upload as opposed to uploading live streams. Uh, but this is why. And hopefully things will be changing in the very near future. Next week, hopefully. Until then, though, hopefully we'll see you on the live stream. Definitely do consider joining the Discord and do take care. Bye-bye.